Hi, my name is Chris Muley. I recorded, mixed, and mastered Emmett's song, Bottoms Up. I've worked with Emmett on a handful of other songs, and in the past, we've always tried to keep things really organic, and uh, it would be a full band setup. We'd live track it all, all the way through, and just choose the best take as a whole, with little or no editing beyond that, which is really respectable and that really rings true to the raw performance and if it was ever done live it would uh it would be what you actually hear which is nice but for this one it was such a different genre we knew that uh our whole workflow would have to change so we started with the midi piano and vocals just to dial in the tempo, which was super easy because with MIDI piano, you can change the tempo and it'll just go to whatever you want. So uh, once we got that done and it just laid down the final piano, which took like one take because he's Emmett. And uh, then we got the guitar going. Our friend Brandon played acoustic guitar, electric guitar and bass, and he's an amazing guitarist. So that obviously didn't take long at all. Uh, let's see if we got there's some synths, pads, and like arpeggiators in there, or at least we experimented with some. I think only one arpeggiator made it into the final song, and it's just really tucked in during one verse, but the synths play a nice role, and they're kind of peppered in there. Um, what else? The drums, we had, we had kind of like three different setups for drums throughout. One of them was an electric set, because we figured it's kind of a pop song, so like, drum samples but uh we opted not to use that other than maybe like there's a kick drum sample throughout one of the verses but uh yeah so different kits and drummers and its dad even played on it which was cool uh yeah so the vocals probably took the longest for a number of reasons but namely because emily's voice like she had just lost it and it was <laughs> nowhere to be found until uh until there it was. And so that wasn't so bad. It just took a little while. And it got his down pretty quick too. The biggest thing was the harmonies. Uh, like that was probably the last thing we added. And Emmett would just be playing piano. And kind of figure out the melody. And we would record Emmett's voice. Playing the harmony. Or singing the harmony. Even sometimes like an octave lower. And Emily will be hearing that. And matching it. Uh, and in the end, I'd say 80% of all the harmonies are Emily's, but uh, there's some Emmett's in there as well. So I have the Pro Tools session here. So here are all the tracks. These are all the different drums, some clap action, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, all our MIDI stuff with automation. And the vocals, you can see uh, all these little cuts and the different colors. Those are just edits whether they're from a separate take or they're uh just nudged to be a little tighter time wise just because it's a it's a pop song and kind of have to do that and uh down here we have all the vocal takes and uh these vocals as you can see most of them were recorded kind of part by part so it could really be focused on and dialed in then we'd combine and make a comp of our favorite parts especially this one these are the or emily's harmonies but you can see it goes on a bit um i think there's probably total like 120 130 of like these little vocal clips all things considered i'd say it went really smoothly especially given the final outcome i'm really really happy with that and super stoked that i had the chance to be a part of this song I'm looking forward to the next pop song, or maybe just a, another LaFave classic. It starts with a tale that you never told me You never wanted it to be Something so simple, something so obvious to me It ends with a feeling you disregarded you brushed aside in time to say I can do better This girl set inside her ways Well, it's time to break vows Bottoms up now In a dream
drought pole in a mouthful I came here to ask you where are you going where you have gone to mystery wrapped in a riddle you just need a little push to see but don't overthink it we're on the brink it's always been scary something new cause half the time we will turn away fearful like you do so don't you dare come crying with your what's the use in trying uproar i can tell Drought pole